Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to create additional lists for your watch list. Now, the previous ID that recorded, we showed you an overview of the watch list. Now, we're going to actually show you how to create separate lists within your watch list. So, let's say, for example, you might be trading currencies, you might be trading energies, metals, or index products. And what you can do is you can create separate lists specifically. However, the way you want to create them. So we're going to go and show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do in our watch list is you'll see right here on the top left corner, this little drop down here. We're going to select this option, and this is going to open up this view, as you can see here, which will display all the additional watch lists that you've created. Now, right now, I only have one watch list created, which is called watch list. Now, a couple of things that I want to point out that you can do. Um, you can go ahead and rename any watch list from this list. You can create it as a favorite, so you don't necessarily have to click this little drop down to access your watch list. So let's first show you how to create additional watch lists first, and then we'll show you how to create favorites and also how to rename those watch lists as well. In fact, let's rename one of the watch lists that we have at this moment. We're gonna click this little edit icon where it says rename, and we're just gonna call this, for example, Ant. All right, so that's our main watch list that we currently have. And then we're gonna now create a new list here on the bottom left corner. We wanna click create new list, and let's go ahead and call this, let's actually do currencies, for example. All right, and then we're gonna click OK or save. All right, now once you create the, the new watch list, you now have to start adding the symbols within this particular watch list. So let's go ahead and add currency products. So let's say the Euro. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, Australian dollar in there. Uh, let's get the, uh, the British pound as well. And let's just do Canadian dollar as well. All right. All right. So now we have our currency watch list. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and create an additional list here. So again, we're going to hit the little drop down here and then we're going to select create new list. And this time, let's go ahead and call this one metals. All right. Again, once you create a new list, it empties everything out. Now you need to start adding the symbols within that watch list. So now we're going to add anything that's metals related. So let's just say, for example, GCE. I believe the front contract month is August at this moment. I'm not 100% sure, but I, double, I believe it is. And then we'll do silver, SIE. Let's just do actually um, micro copper. All right, and then we'll also add silver as well. All right. So now you can see we all we have metal related instruments within our metals watch list. So now when I click the little drop down, you can see all the different watch lists that you created. You have AMP as the first one that we originally had, you have currencies, and you also have metals. So now what we can do is we can create these as favorites by just simply highlighting the favorite icon to the left of the watch list name. And once you do that, now you can see there's little shortcut icons on your watch list. So you can easily toggle from one watch list to another. All right, so pretty nice very efficient you can stay organized you can create additional watch lists however way that you want in this example i just created it based off different category groups of markets that you can trade for example currencies and then my my main amp watch list has a variety of different markets but then you have currencies and you have metals so again you want to hit this little drop down to get back to your watch list now if you want to remove or rename all you need to do is click the rename icon here or if you want to delete the icon, or better yet, the watch list, you can also click, click this little X here to remove it. You can also make a copy. So here's an example if I want to make a copy. I can call this Metals Copy. Hit Save. And then it's not created as a favorite, so now you can see that if I highlight it, now you can see there's an additional icon there. All right? And this is how you create list within your watch list. 